when we bought some of Gordon's art uh, pieces right there, when the gallery manager brought them over, uh, the gallery manager and Diane wandered around trying to figure out just the right place for them. And the more they looked, they said, this house looks like a giant art gallery. Why don't we have a vernissage for Gordon's work? As you can see, this is a phenomenal, just a, a stunning setting. What we like about Gordon's work, I think, is that it's so dramatic, and we love the natural materials, the metals that he uses, the color. This is the largest exhibit that Gordon Huther has ever had of his fine art, and there's more that we could have filled, but this is an amazing, an amazing display of the diversity of the works that Gordon actually has. The smaller scale work tends to reflect more personal um, aspects of myself, because the large scale work are really not about me, but about the, the people that are experienced in the art every day. Gordon's work is so uh, wonderfully diverse from the beautiful glass sculptures to the very narrative paintings that he does to the uh, public artwork that I, I'm sure we've all seen. I mean, the diversity is really unusual and really wonderful. All of this work is repurposed metal and he introduces the glass into it, which was the medium that he just began um, his career with. I do use a lot of, not always, but often use repurposed material. So there's just something about finding a piece of metal that um, at one time someone had painted it to make it perfect and beautiful and nature always takes back what belongs to her. And that process of, I don't know what I would call it, decomposition or deterioration creates the most fascinating patterns and textures that um, I would one would be hard-pressed to come up with um, on their own. Well, I'm very impressed with the art. I, I'm uh, very pleased to be able to see the, the, this much of it at once. It uh, gives you a real feeling for what he's done and what he likes to do and uh, the, the different kinds of things that he does. My husband and I have been Gordon Huther fans for a long time. And what's so amazing about his work is even from the tiniest piece to the largest installation, you can still relate to the piece. This particular piece, which is called Ha, uh, we just purchased tonight, and I, I love it. I mean, the color, the vibrancy, the movement of the letters, uh, the, the fact that your mind is going to try and make words out of these letters, even though they're randomly distributed, is just, it, it brings you in, it makes you a part of the art piece. And that's what makes it so wonderful to me. What do I think of Gordon Sand? Why did I come here? Because I love it. I love his creativity. I love his metamorphical changing, his whatever feels, the material he uses. But I also love his expressions that he has done with steel and with light effect and color effect. He's a genius. I love Gordon.